Hi, we're here live at the Tennis Center with the Barry Buccaneers. My name is Alexis Kwakernat and my partner, Andy Krasnansky. And we're doing a project today that's focusing on the training that the Barry players go in before the big tournament. And also, uh, we want to encourage and motivate young kids uh, to play tennis and keep them active. In the so Andy, um, tell me a little bit about your chances for the regionals and then obviously the finals. So it's going to play out. Well, first of all, we're going to be hosting regionals here at Barry University with five other teams. If we manage to win the regionals, we're going to go into nationals, which will be played in Orlando, I believe. And I strong be strongly believe we are one of the favorites. Last year, we were ranked number two in the nation. Right. And we are, I think we are the top three top favorites three. together with Wachita and Florida Southern University. Well, he's not saying goes there. The boy's strategizing about the next couple matches, trying to get into the big tournament. He was talking about in the bracket. <laughs> hey, Lynn goes to Valdosta. Yeah, but the part of tennis is to serve. Which you have to hold. So now we're going to demonstrate and show you a couple of serves and the right way it's done. Notice his form and how he throws the ball. It's imperative to have the first serve strike. You toss the ball behind the head. Hey guys, what's up? Right now we're going to do a forehand and backhand drill. It's going to consist of me running around the court. It's pretty much for defense and offense. Nice shot, Andy. Approach, volley. Andy's going to talk to us about the importance of the grip. This is basic in junior instructional tennis. All right, so now we're going to show you a drill that we would use for little kids, juniors, anyone who's a beginner in tennis. The most important thing is the grip. So what we do is you take the racket, you take your hand, you put your hand on the string and you drag it all the way down and you hold the grip tight. And this is pretty much how you should hold the racket. Like this. It's important to keep your shoulders sideways. You also have to stay under the ball so you can bring it up and put a lift on it. Demonstrates the backhand return. The coach says he either wants to slice it or crush it every time. Middle, Marco, aim for the cone. Have a purpose in the shot. Through the leg. We're here with Coach Thomas here, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about some of the drills that they do on a day to day basis from the warm up to the cool down and also a little bit about what they're focusing in on for the big tournaments coming up. Um, our practice, they usually consist of three phases. The first phase is the warm-up phase, where we do shoulder exercises. We do shoulder exercises with different ways to strengthen right. our rotator cuff to get our shoulders warmed up. Then we do usually running for five to ten minutes cardio to get our metabolism going. And then we do some sprints with shuffle, shuffle, back pedal, and through a sprints through, through a ladder to really get our energy going. The then, ladder. Right. Exactly. Then usually we drink. And then we start hitting. We have a usual warm up, hitting from the baseline, volleys, overhead, surf, everything included. And then it goes usually in the practice. And then it depends. Some days we, we focus more on doubles, so do doubles related drills. Sometimes we focus more on singles, depending on what we're needing. And then also on individual needs. Some guys they need more approaching shots, so we do right. that. Some they need more we baseline, have do baseline drills, right. things like that. And then it comes to our cool down. We also have a cool down phase. It takes usually like like 20 minutes, half an hour, where they, they jog 10, 15 minutes to get the lactic acid out of their muscles and then they stretch, stretch. and then they're, they're good to go. Usually. And then they're good to go. Well, thank you so much. Here you see Tommy getting the boys doing the uh, strength drill, the agility, the fancy footwork as we know it. In tennis, it's essential to have your feet in constant motion. So Tommy has them running the ladder. Don't have to go for speed here. It's just easy, nice and easy movement. Come on guys, look like you're having fun out here. Some effort. 
Get the pump, boys. Get the pump. Thank you for joining us today at the Barry Tennis Center. Dr. Samuels was gracious enough to have us come here today and film an instructional video, also be able to show you some intercollegiate tennis and tennis players practicing, getting ready for the regionals and hopefully the national. Here's our coach showing our young, aspiring juniors player. She's showing her the backhand. Let's dance in style, let's dance for a while. Heaven can wait, we're only watching the skies. Hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. Are you going to drop the bomb or not? I was able to catch up with two of the tennis players on the team later after practice, Jacob and Andy. And I wanted to ask Jacob, how do you feel now that you're a senior, what it is like to be about to be graduating and also playing tennis, balancing that with finals and other things? I mean, uh, playing tennis and being a senior, it's, it's kind of hard on you because you're taking hard classes and you still have to keep up with your tennis and you need to, you know, be there for the team and play all the matches as much as possible and you need to be ready for both. I mean, you don't want to... You don't want to be late for graduation, you know. So it's been definitely the hardest year. Hello, I'm Pablo Arraya from Kiwi Skate Tennis Association. Dash Argentina, Dash Peru, Dash the World. Guys, start on that corner. On the racket loser. Pablo's taking us through the drills today, trying to hit the cone. For the Corona Championship. Before the guys from the Calusa drink it all. There you go, Deller. Huh? You like it? You can see the instructions on this quarter, both English and Spanish, for our bilingual players. Paso is passing shot. That's Natasha. Andres. Del Corral, local resident here partaking in the tennis drills with Lawrence and other local Key Biscayne residents. All legs, separate the feet, hold the racket loose, back. It always has to be the exact same footwork, that's the best way to improve. Time with the second serve, you might have to move it over to continental. Wendy, you were telling us about some of the ground strokes and the agility speed drill and the volleys that you were doing earlier. Tell them a little bit about exactly what it is that you showed us in the video today. Well, basically the different drills we did, we did the volleys, we did the ground strokes, we did the approaching shots. We also did the, where we showed you how to hold the racket on the grid, and we also did the speed drills. So we hope that all of those drills are gonna help you guys and are gonna be beneficial for you. For, for tennis and we hope that they're going to keep you motivated and excited for tennis. Thank you for joining us today with our instructional video. I hope that we were able to provide an inside look what it is to play tennis in the intercollegiate level.